I have my December favorites for you. I also have some of my 2016 favorites, which I'm going to shoot in a separate video. So you're getting a little preview of it. I'm still sort of walking through and assembling all of them and uh, looking at them and going, is that really a favorite? Is it a favorite or do I just like it? Because I really, I only want to tell you it's a favorite if it's really a favorite. So let me share with you my December favorites. This was a Christmas gift, so I cannot tell you where to get it. I can tell you how freaking brilliant is it to give me a magnifying glass? I am so blind and I have known about the existence of magnifying glasses my entire life, but just never thought about applying using a magnifying glass in the world. So I think that was such an awesome gift and I was absolutely delighted with it. And while I can't tell you where to get this exact one, I think that uh, you might consider investing in a magnifying glass because being able to just pick something up and read without fumbling for your glasses is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, that leads me to uh, my first actual product. I guess I should just leave this on my lap because I'm going to be needing it. Um, this is by La Fontaine Cosmetics. It's their grandeur retinol serum and I know there are a lot of retinol serums out there. I really like how my skin has been reacting to this one. I used Retin-A for the first time about 25 years ago and I have always had Retin-A in my cupboard because I got it for my acne back then but it totally thrashes my skin. I literally can only use it once a week. Any more than that and my skin just goes nuts. And people will say, oh, you need to give it a chance. It's been 25 years. I've tried it in all sorts of combinations. Trust me when I say it only works for my skin once a week. Now, I truly believe that we are all individuals. And whenever I talk about any product and I say that it's great for my skin, I really can only talk about the perspective of my skin because that's the only skin I've ever lived in. So I, I tell you the kind of skin I have, and if it works for me, you know what kind of skin you have and if it works for you. I have found this Grandeur La Fontaine Cosmetics Retinol Serum to be really nice. I use this after I derma roll with my 0.2 millimeter derma roller. That's the really, really little one that barely scratches the surface of your skin, but it's good for product penetration. I should probably do a video about that one of these days. You know, I'll do that. I'll, I'll, I'll do a video about this and um, I'll tell you a little bit more about it then, but really happy with what this does for my skin. I've mentioned this a few times. This was, this is by a company called I Am Green Minded and their website is a little confusing. I will give you that. I haven't figured it out myself yet. This is a product called Bright Eyes and it is an under eye concealer and you need a very, very light hand with it. But if I am going with no makeup or I want a no makeup look, you know, okay, let's say I'm going on a date that's a hike in full sun. I want to look good. I don't want to look like I'm looking all made up to go for a hike. This seriously doesn't look like anything. I just, I want to um, have, keep meaning to shop on their website and pick up different of their products because I do like this one so very much. So if you're like me and the under eye area is always dark. This is not gonna give you that perfect, but if you're going makeup free and you just wanna look like you had a little more rest than you've had, this stuff rocks. Iamgreenminded.com and it is called Bright Eyes and I will drop the links for everything down below. You know I love my Revlon Matte Balm Stains. I 
am always using them and you know honey is my default favorite but this one I picked up in December and I really really like it this color is a bit dark for 270 and even with a magnifying glass I can't see exactly what the color is good god Monique it's number 270 and I will look it up for you but it is a you know that dark oxblood red that Merlot red um, as somebody who's very fair, a lot of those burgundy colors are just too, too much for me. But this I like. I find I've been wearing this a lot with no makeup. I really like going with no makeup most of the time. And I feel like if I put on a little bit of the, the, the I am green, I am green minded, uh, bright eyes under my eyes, and then this on my lips, it's a very different, romantic, soft, pretty, different look. Um, it's not necessarily one that I do on camera. I don't think I've done, it's kind of hard to do a tutorial where I say, like, oh, here I am with almost no makeup on, but I guess I could do that tutorial for you. It's a look that I've been doing a lot this winter and I really like it. Um, Super pleased with this shade. I will I will slap on several pairs of glasses and use the magnifying glass and get myself right in front of a window and see if I can't determine exactly the color of this, but it is number 270 and I really, really like it. This is a vitamin C serum by Purely Lola and it's available on Amazon. I'll drop the link down below like I do with everything. This is so light. This has become my, you can see, it's just, it's this really, really thin, light gel. And a lot of times, a lot of times I'm gonna be going on a hike, but I wanna have something on my face. So I'll slap on this, I'll slap on something with an SPF. This is just one that I really like and I've been reaching for and you know, it's not a problem solver across the board, but I just find that whenever I need a quick something, this is the one that my hand is landing on. And I can't even tell you exactly why, but it's the one I keep picking up. So obviously it's a favorite. Dermalogica sent me a bunch of products to try. And of course they're all awesome because Dermalogica has great products and they're all so totally out of my price range. Um, you know, as far as buying the whole set, every once in a while, you know, you pick up one because it's nice to treat yourself to one quality product. This is their Daily Superfoliant, and this is designed to help clear pollution from your skin. This is so mild, you can use it every day. I have been using it every day. My skin feels really, really clean, really, really soft, and it's not irritating to it. So super pleased with my Dermalogica Super Foliant. And that's it. It's not a lot. I'm kind of picky about what I call a favorite. Um, but these are my favorites. For the oh, no, wait, I have one more. Mia Adora has a 3D fiber mascara that I've really, really been liking. Um, I, I hate waterproof mascaras because removing them is a nightmare. And this is waterproof, but it washes off with water. It's just, it seems to be that if I'm washing my face and I'm using, I use my Dermalogica pre-cleanse, which is a cleansing oil, I'll use that and I'll wash like this and the fibers come right off and it cleans up great so I don't have too much gunk under my eyes. Uh, but it makes my lashes look so, so long. And I really haven't noticed that it falls down on my face too much, which is the problem that I've had with other fiber mascaras in the past. So that is a favorite for the month of December as well. The winner of our Mia Adora 3D Fiber Lash Contest. I had the contest on the date night eye makeup video. Everyone who left a comment, I 
drew a name and it is Sarah J. Powers. Sarah J. Powers is the winner. Please send me your email um, and contact information so I can pass it along to Mia Adora and they will be getting you your kit for 3D Fiber Mascara. Sarah J. Powers. What are your favorites for the month of December? Do you have any? Do you have a whole lot? I wish I had more. You know, it's funny, I thought I was gonna have more favorites than I did, but I didn't. You know, when you really start looking at it, it's like, do I just like it or do I love it? These are my loves. And you are also my love. I love you bunches. I will talk to you very soon. Drop your comments down below. I will have, yeah, I'll... I know where to get all this stuff. <laughs> Terrible. Sometimes I have stuff and I'm like, I have no idea where to tell you to get this. I'm sorry, but this stuff, I will drop it all down below and I am rambling now and I will talk to you very soon.